हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी विल अगेन स्टार्ट विथ एट कॉम मॉड्यूल बट टुडे वी विल सी अबाउट द हाउ टू ब्रेक अ बैड न्यूज दैट मॉडल इज नोन एज स्पाइक्स मॉडल एंड आल्सो वी विल सी हाउ टू इफ मेडिकल एरर इज हैज अकर्ड देन द प्रोटोकॉल इज कॉन्स प्रोटोकॉल सी ओ एन ई एस so these two protocols today we will study and the first another protocol it is for the emo when emotions occurs then at that time we will use three elements that is e v e protocol so three protocols today we will see in this lecture so in the previous lecture we have already seen about the Uh, at com module the foundation of communication we in that model we have seen the principles of communication and emotional uh, protocols we have seen and now we come to the uh, how to break a bad news and how to break and when medical error occurs so these two important protocol we will discuss here in this video so let's start with the uh, foundation that is at com module on foundations communication now three elements to use any time strong emotions occur these three elements are e v e e is explore the emotions v is validate the emotion and third is e that is empathetic response now e v e protocol e is explore the emotion that is explore and identify the emotion that is uh, you have to ask the person to whom you are talking or whom you want to communicate in that can you tell me more something like this can you tell me more about that and in this way you will explore explore your emotion then validate number 2 is validate the emotion let the person know you understand the emotions were appropriate so you will say like this i can i can understand how that would have occurred or uh, most people would feel like that and in this way you can validate the emotion and the e is empathetic response in that respond in a way that shows you you have seen the emotion and that you can understand it like i am really sorry about it and i i hear what you are saying and i get your point or something like this and give the empathetic response now the next comes is breaking bad news to provide intelligible information and educate the person attending regarding the disease process to support the patient by employing skill to reduce the emotional impact to develop a strategy in the form of a treatment plan with the with the input and cooperation of the patient to support the relatives or attendants in accepting the event then delivering bad news setting up the interview first is to set the interview then assess the patient's perception then obtain the patient's invitation then giving knowledge and information to the patient and addressing the patient emotion with empathetic response and the finally strategy and summary now to break bad news that is spike protocol s of the spike stands for setting up the conversation p is perception i is invitation k is knowledge e is emotions and s is strategy and summary now the first one s that is setting secure and appropriate area for the discussion so first you decide the place the place should be comfortable for both of you have a conversation in a quiet undisturbed area prepare for what you say and anticipate the patient or family reaction have the key people whom you need in the red room sit the patient's closest to you 
and have no barriers between you sit down try to be calm and make eye contact so everything should be appropriate area of discussion so first secure a place for the discussion the place should be undisturbed area it should be with all the people you need it should you should be closest to him or her and sit down and keep eye contact and be calm then the second word is p that is perception assess the patient's understanding of the seriousness of their condition now you understand what the person want so ask what the patient and family already know like this you can say tell me more about this with other doc- what other doctors told you about this what was your discussion with someone else or something like this and assess the patient and family members level of understanding you can assess how much they understood and what they understood take note of discrepancies discrepancies and in the patient's understanding and what is actually true watch for signs of daniel okay so you um, uh, see what the patient understood or what the family member understood and understand their where they have a problem in understanding and see what actually they are true or not then watch the sign of the daniel and in this way you can pers- what the patient or uh, his family member sees then next is i that is invitation so get permission to have the discussion so you cannot uh, order the patient or the family member to discuss with you so you first have to give them an invitation so set a goal for discussion ask the patient if he or she want to know the details of the medical condition or treatment accepts the patient's right not to know offer the answer any questions the patient or family member may have or uh, you can also go like this uh, i did like to go over the result would you like to be are you okay then you can please come and have a talk with me like this today my plan is to discuss the medical condition of the patient with your family member so please you can come to my room and something like this you can start and the third is uh, fourth sorry s p i and now it is k that is knowledge explaining the facts so here what you know that what you will explain the facts so avoid medical jargon explaining the facts in a manner that the patient will understand you don't feel that patient understood so you have to uh, give them their knowledge that you have a fairly good sized tumor or your tumor is growing or something like this fill in any gaps that were evident in the perception stage then present the information in small chunks after each verify the patient's understanding that are you with me so far or something la- last word you can ask the patient or family member that he understood what we want and is he with us and then emotions the empath- empathic response be supportive then so deal with emotions as they occur so in this way you can say can you tell me more did that make you angry or are you okay with that decision what the other doctor told or something like this use open ended and direct questions to explore what the patient is feeling i can see that you weren't expecting this but the patient is deteriorating most people would be upset but you are strong enough to hold this or have like this you can enter the talk 
respond to emotions with empathetic and affirming statements try to keep your own emotions from taking over avoid respond false assurance such as ke false you should not give them any false assurance like this everything will be fine i have been fate miracles happen i have seen that miracles happens and not you should not assure anything like this then the finally it is as that is strategy and summary that is the closing interview strategy that is you decide what the best medical plan would be for the patient appraise in your mind or clarify with the patient their expectations of treatment and outcome recommend a strategy on how to proceed collaborate and agree on the plan ask the patient to repeat to you their understandings of the plan have a clear treatment plan plan in writing for the patient to take home with them and the summary is to you summarize all the conversations offer two questions prepare uh, you have to prepare uh, tough questions like the patient can ask am i am i am going to die so you should be get ready with all such type of answers so tough questions patient or family members can ask so you should be get ready so prepare all the tough questions and then uh, now the next co is cones protocol this protocol is for disclosing medical error which has occurred the if there is sudden deterioration of the patient's medical condition talking to the family about a sudden death in these three conditions you will follow a cones protocol cones protocol means c stands for context o for opening shot n for narrative e for emotions and h for s for strategy and summary now c for context prepare for what you say and anticipate the patient or family reaction so you have to be prepared with all what you feel the reaction of the patient or family have the conversation in a quite undisturbed area so uh, decide the area suitable area for discussion or suitable place for discussion seat the patient closest to you so you should seat close to the patient and have no barriers sit down try to be calm maintain eye contact and have a box of tissues available so in this way you can ask uh, you can keep the context or you can uh, identify the suitable place and start discussion then opening shot is what alternate alert the patient or family member of important news so you should alert them that this is difficult but i have to tell you that uh, your brother is not responding to my medicines or he is getting deterioration or something like this this is hard but i have to say share with you some information in this way you can talk i must talk to you about the condition of your brother or father or whatever it is and lastly you can thank him i thank you that you are here for with me to discuss but it i have i have to say you that this is the condition in this way you can start the talk and this is opening shot then narrative approach explain the chronological sequence of events so you can see step by step you can uh, discuss the sequence that you are when uh, your mother came uh, to the hospital she was having this and this condition and this and these reports now she is step in between she was stable but now again is in this way you can explain the chronological sequence of events avoid assigning blame or making excuses so you have to avoid anything blaming on that uh, up whatever it is you don't find any mistakes of 
पेशेंट और फैमिली मेंबर्स देन एम्फोसाइज दैट यू आर इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग हाउ द एरर अकर्ड सो एम्फोसाइज ऑन हाउ द एरर अकर्ड लाइक वी स्टार्टेड इन्वेस्टिगेशन बाय दैट एवरीथिंग वॉज nice but now it is happening like this i hope by the end of today she will start improving or something like this offer a clear apology that i am really sorry that this has happened so clear now what has occurred then e for emotions address strong emotion of course follow the eve protocol be aware of being pushed into making promises that, that you cannot deliver avoid reassuring you should not reassure or there is going to be good outcome or no harm was done you should say the truth and face it then the finally it is strategy and summary so summarize the discussion and make specific plan for follow up let them know the situation is a priority if you don't know the answer if you don't know the answer say so and that you will attempt to find out disclosing medical error is not a st- standard it's not optional sensitive disclosures have a favorable impact on malpractice claims so you can also um, summarize your discussion uh, that i i will do my best i will guarantee you to do my best i am the doctor responsible for your mother i will be open and honest and such like this talks you can add and in this way uh, you can disclose medical error or any deterioration in the medical treatment or something then cones protocol and i did knew there is a, then you can disclose with spikes protocol so now finally doctor patient encounter building doctor patient relationship opening the discussion gathering the information understanding the patient perspective sharing information reaching agreement on problems and plan so thank you very much please like share and subscribe so that now we i will come with an video on atcom module where you will find only the name of all the protocols which we have to follow